Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna paint a crappy and this is the very first time I'm gonna try to paint that and I don't know how it's gonna go but we're definitely gonna give it our best shot and we're gonna try to paint a really nice and realistic looking crappy and we're starting right now. For this crappy design I chose this really big swim bait because it got the perfect body for a really big juicy crappy. I love these kind of lures with a lot of detail in them because you can make really nice and beautiful lures out of them. First of all I'm gonna apply a white base coat and I always like to mix in a little bit of 40-50 with this to create a little bit of a better adhesion. And then afterwards I'm gonna spray Createx Quicksilver over the entire body except for the belly. Now to create that shiny white belly I'm gonna use Wicked Pearl White and also Metallic White Cores from Createx to make that belly look really shiny but still really bright white and I'm also gonna use the same paints on the underside of the gill plates. That's gonna give the gill plates a little bit more of a that natural metallic shine kind of look and that's by just building up that pearl white really thick on there. So you can be very generous with this metallic white paint because it's only gonna look quite natural. I'm also gonna create a little bit of a black texture here and there on the top of the, of the fish and also a little bit on the gill plates and for that I'm gonna use a Vallejo black wash and I'm just gonna dip it on there with a paper towel and maybe rub it out a little. And now after that wash I'm gonna use metallic white cores and some pearl white to make those gill plates really white and shiny again and make them really bright and realistic but only on the underside of the gill plates. The next step is going to be a little bit of that yellow in those gill plates again and for that I'm gonna use Vallejo the Shifters gold yellow to burnt orange because this is a color shift it gives that little extra to the lure and also it's gonna make it really nice and golden again. I'm also gonna use it a little bit on the side of the body as well. Now it's time for that black crappy pattern on there and because I don't have any crappy stencils and I don't even have the right size of a stencil that would work for this pattern. So I think it's best that I'm gonna do this with a sponge. I'm gonna dip on some opaque black paint and that way I'm gonna try to recreate that crappy pattern as best as I can. And I think that's my best bet. And with some wicked detail black, I'm gonna refine those edges by using a stencil. I ended up really not liking this pattern, so now I'm taking my piece of cloth and some airbrush cleaner and I'm trying to remove these stripes again and see if I can save it all. Unfortunately there is no coming back from this mistake and I have to make a painful decision as either to do the other side the same way and make the same mistake on the other side or I have to start over entirely again. I think in this case it's best that I just start over again and just learn from my mistakes and move on. It took me 10 minutes to get used to the idea that I have to start over all over again. And the difference between a professional and an amateur is that a professional can hide his mistakes. And in this case I will have to hide more than just a mistake.
Now that the black is dry, I'm gonna slightly coat the sides, the flanks again with a little bit of gold yellow burnt orange from the shifters from Vallejo just to make that color shift pop a little bit more and on that black it's gonna stick out just a little bit more then. And on the back I'm gonna do a gold pale blue from the shifters just to create an even more color shift on the back. Now for the mouth part I wanna create a little bit of a distinction just like a real fish has the mouth part usually is not metallic or pearlescent. So for that I'm gonna use a wicked opaque cream and I'm gonna try to make it a little bit matte colored again and give that lifelike flesh kind of uh, color to it. And now with wicked detail sepia I'm gonna tone down that color a little bit and give a kind of a shadow on the mouth. Now I will remove the tape from my fin and then we're gonna darken the entire back and the fin as well with some candy toe black. Now we're gonna dust that same shifter on top of the candy black again which is the gold to pale blue from the shifters from Vallejo and that's just to, to create that color shift effect again on the back but again just slightly dust it on there, no two thick layers or the black will be gone. And now to finish this lure off I'm gonna use a little bit of Vallejo polished gold. And I'm gonna spray that through one of the Vallejo stencils which are the dots. And the reason that I'm using polished gold for this is that because with metallic pigments or pearlescent pigments you don't got any bleeding onto a candy. Because the metallic pigments and pearl pigments they don't soak up the paint from the candy so you got no bleeding you don't need to use an intricate you can just spray on your metallic and pearlescence straight onto a candy it's not gonna be any problems and it's also gonna give a really cool effect and I'm gonna use these 10 millimeter glass eyes from blur blanks ready for a clear coat As always, I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I use to paint this lure. And this will guide you to my web shop and if you would buy anything there, it will be supporting me and the channel. And if you made it to the end, I also got some really interesting news to share with you. I'm gonna start a new series on this channel. And the main goal in that series is to experiment with lure colors, see if it really makes a difference and maybe... Maybe we're just wasting our time with lure painting. I really want to experiment and see if we can gather some knowledge about lure colors and conditions and timing and everything. See if we can learn something from that. And of course the most important thing, we're going to have fun and it's going to be really cool. But when that series starts, that all depends on the weather. Right now the lakes are still frozen up. The rivers have just started to open up, so it's just a matter of time. We just need maybe a week or so. But then I will start filming our new series and I am really, really excited to start this new series. Another thing that some people might be interested in as well is that we started a new channel, me and my, my partner Aline. We started a new channel on YouTube, but that channel is all about the farm and our lives on the farm and the things that we are learning. 
uh, because we, we are not farmers and we're just um, yeah, we're starting from scratch. So it's kind of a vlog about our lives on the farm. So if you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description down below and you can go watch that as well. If you got any questions, suggestions or you want to share some knowledge with the lure painting community, especially when it's about painting crappies because this is not easy, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.